Welcome guys to another Ask Zendler. Now in this particular workshop I'm going to tackle a question that's been asked by Ali Dugas and um, she has asked is it possible to create a course bundle and have multiple cohorts of students enrolled throughout the year into the same bundle without creating separate bum bundles courses for every enrollment. My plan is to have four groups of enrollments every year so winter, spring, summer and fall but for example, when the winter students will not be done with their drip by the time the spring students sign up. So I guess like um, if they're enrolling in the last few days of winter, then they'll still be going through their drip sequence. So drip sequence or not, there are a few solutions that have been posted on this post anyway, um, some of which work and some of which um, it's a bit harder to monitor so I was trying to think of a solution that's going to be nice and easy for this type of thing whether you have bundles a single course um, tiers running I don't know anything so uh, I thought the, the best way for this particular solution would be to tag students on enrollments because when you tag a student on an enrollment you can then target them with emails afterwards and you can also filter them using the um, filtering system inside Zendler. So for instance when someone signs up for the winter they're tagged with winter 2020 and then when they actually go into spring you can then change that automation tagging to spring 2020 and so on so that even if the people that have come in on the winter have that tag and they haven't finished their drip or whatever else you're doing you still got them tagged because that's when they joined up in that winter so you can then target them and the same would apply for the spring summer and fall as Ali has put in her post so I think this is probably the cleanest way of doing it um, I suppose it, in a way it depends with what you're doing but this is the solution that I think will work for this particular case so again now we're breaking into memberships and memberships can get quite complicated that's why I'm going to set up quite a few different scenarios of posts that I've seen from uh, instructors such as Ali so I'm going to run in and show you how you can tag people when they come in there and then how you can get those people um, and you can filter them and email them and you can see the students that enrolled in that particular day which is what it's all about and then how to change it when you reach that day so that the only maintenance you have to do is to change it on the day that it changes between the four groups yeah so winter in this case winter spring summer and fall so you're going to tag when it, you decide that spring's going to start spring enrollment then you're just going to change that tag to spring 2020 and obviously when it changed to summer you're going to change it to summer 2020 and the reason i'm putting 2020 is because the next year you might want to re-tag it so you can put 2021 so i'm going to show you how to do that now pretty easy um so hopefully this will be a solution for you ali and uh, we'll see how it goes so let's jump into my site and I'm just going to do it on a course it really doesn't matter whether you do it on a bundle whether you do it um, on tiers or, or whether you do it on a single course so I'm going to show you how to do it on a single course and then you can set your automations up in the same way okay guys so on my surf dudes site my test site uh, I have a course here okay so what we're going to do is when people enroll we're going to tag them up for winter 2020 so I'm going to come into my courses and I'm going to click on the course or the bundle it's up to you and we're going to go straight into automations just before I do that I'm just going to take this and copy it just because that's what I'm going to use as my tag I'm going to go into automations now and under my um, enroll email sequence I'm going to click on here and we're just going to go into here I'm going to edit and what I'm going to do is inside this enroll email sequence I'm going to add a new action and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tag that tags now appeared here we can edit it so in this tag I'm going to tag it with not quite as long as this so I'm going to put surfing beginners so I'll just do BSJ BSJ <clears throat> and then I'm going to type uh, winter and then 2020 so that's my tag okay so I'm going to um, write in the action name tag for winter 
2020. Okay, so I'm going to leave it after. I'm going to leave it on zero hours, hours from enrollment, and it's going to tag the people with this. So I've already got one person enrolled into this. So I'm going to show you what happens because when you create the new tag, you don't want to apply it to existing people. So when I click save, um, it's going to go, the action is currently paused. Do you want to make it live? I'm going to click yes. And it's going to go apply to existing students. Now, if you're doing this the first time, you want to go yes. Or if you haven't launched the course, you can go no, it doesn't matter. Um, I have got a student in there, so I'm going to automatically hit yes and it will apply it to that one student. Okay, now when I change this tag later, I do not want to apply it to existing students. Otherwise, all of my tags before will get hit with this new tag. So for this particular case, because I've got one in there already and he's not tagged, I'm going to hit yes. Okay, so now this is live. So anyone comes into this site and joins this course, it will be tagged with this. All right, now that'll happen and then you'll get to like the the next the next quarter or the next season and then you'll change this tag and when you change this tag you do not want to apply it to existing students all right so let's put in here spring this time so I've changed it now pretend time's gone by you've got lots of enrollments they've all been enrolled under the tag winter okay and now we've changed it because we're just coming into the new season and we click save changes now when it says apply it to existing students I don't want to do that because if I do that like I said it will ripple through all the other students that have already been tagged so you do not want to do it. so I'm going to click no and now when the new student joins they'll be hit with this spring tag so what's going on now so let's have a look and see what's happened to our students that are on our course so we go to students on the course we're going to see our students come up and you're going to see that they've got this tag so any new students that join up are going to have the new tag so i'm just going to sign in as a new student and then you'll see that i will come up with the spring tag because i've enrolled in the course okay guys so i've just set up 100 percent off coupon just so that i don't have to pay for this course and I'm going to come in here and we're going to go and enroll in the course as a new student 100% off so I'm going to log out as well so I'm just going to set up a brand new email so you don't need to see this I'm just going to buy it I've signed up for the course so if I now jump into my admin and we go to the courses again we're going to see another student and he's going to have the spring so let me just log in as the administrator let's now go into my course and go to students and we're going to have a new student come up and you're going to notice that now it is in spring so that student has been tagged with spring so now we can communicate with these students and we can tag them up so that we can actually get through to them so if i go and i send an email to these i go to email broadcast I can now set up a draft so I've got a draft in here let's go and let's find these people let's use an advanced filter let's go to all contacts first of all and add a group filter so we're going to filter this I'm going to add a filter and we're going to go and we're going to go user tag contains and then we're going to go spring and you're going to see once I save these changes that we have one there so now I can send an email out just to these users that have enrolled in spring 2020 so this is why it's really important to make sure that your tags are meaningful to you so I know this is surfing for beginners starting the journey spring 2020 so if I want to tag the winter people I can just go ahead and I can edit the filter and I can come and I can just choose the winter and you're going to see that this will change here it's one again but we're just targeting those so now I can move through the email process and I can actually send emails directly to them so if we look under our all our contacts here you can see that we can we've got three in there two have got these new tags added to them And you can even set a filter in here so you could set a filter with 
user contains tag and then you can set the tag there and you'll see just those users that have got that appear in there again you can see them all as a list inside here so this is very powerful and uh, it will allow you to easily set up tags for when they join your course okay so hopefully that's really clear for you guys so that's how you can do it using tagging so hopefully Ali this helps you and helps you other guys out with um, your kind of membership sites very easy to implement as I said before any of the courses you can set that extra tag on enrollment or you can even tag them up when they finish the course so if you want to actually target them for the finishing the course you could put sbsj full slash winter full slash 2020 and then hyphen finished and then you can tag them up they've actually finished that course so you can get a notification of when they finish the course um, by using those tags in there so the uses of it are limitless and i think this is the cleanest way of approaching this kind of thing